Balloons update has come a bunch of brand new changes, additions, and awesome features to Balloons, but one of the biggest ones is Ninja Kiwi has buffed dramatically the Sun Temple. At the release of the game, the true Sun God Temple was the strongest tower full stop, but since the release of Paragons, well, the true Sun God Temple has actually fallen off and is not really that useful. There's so many better things you can do with your money to get Paragons and stronger upgrades, it's just kind of not been that great. So Ninja Kiwi has released several insane buffs to this tower, some of them making the tower 10 times stronger. This is the list of all of the buffs and changes that they've made to the tower. Look at this, primary golden blades attack from 25 to 250. They've added some absolutely insane additions to this thing. So today, we're going to be trying out the Vengeful True Sun God Temple and seeing just how good it really is now. And with this update, Ninja Kiwi has released Fast Track, a purchasable upgrade that allows you to toggle on and off just like Double Cash, which allows you to skip 25% into a game with the same amount of money as well as Hero XP. And if you're going to go ahead and get it, make sure to use Creator Support T. T-E-W-T-I-Y, Tootie, to help support the channel. No cost to yourself. It just helps support us if you're going to get it. And we can just start off with it. So I have it enabled. You can see, like, so double cash as well as fast track. Boop. And then we'll play on hard, right? And then when we do this and hit standard, since we have double cash and fast track, look at this. We actually start on round 22 with $9,000. Isn't that just, like, actually so cool? Let's go ahead and get us, uh, we could just start with the super monkey, but that's kind of expensive. So I think the best option is we'll just go ahead and just get some banana farms down. One, two, one, two, wait, this is actually amazing. One, two... And then, okay, I probably shouldn't, I probably shouldn't get that much. We're starting on round 22, so I guess I should have a little bit of defense going. Okay, maybe, maybe I don't have enough. Okay, am I gonna be, okay, I got crossbow and quick shots. Okay, crossbow is probably not enough to be able to defend against this. That's kind of wild. Okay, I gotta get used to this now. I'm not actually used to, like, having fast track. What do you guys think of the actual fast track? I've seen a lot of, like, super, like, big reception to it and people going, like, yeah, this is amazing. Which I kind of agree. I actually think it's really, really sweet. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, uh, wait. We're already about to have to go up against lead balloons. That is crazy, actually. All right. We can go ahead. Let's just get an alchemist. We can go ahead and get us uh, larger potions, acidic mixture dip. Give them a little bit more strength. Uh, we got to be getting ourselves a beautiful, beautiful true sun god temple. I'm so excited. I love the true sun god temple. I think it's amazing. I love that. Like, I love how you have to make it, like, upgrade it try to get everything good for it. You need to get like the right upgrades and stuff. I feel like if you get a ventral, like a true ventral sun god temple, it should just be the strongest tower in the game. Like I feel like that should be the thing, especially if you put all of the work into it. Like it's so crazy how much work you have to put into getting a ventral sun god temple with all of the sacrifices and calculations. It costs so much money, but then you can just get like a Goliath doom ship and then you're just fine. Like, you're literally just fine. You have got, you've got nothing to worry about. And so it's kind of like, ooh, you know what I mean? We had 7,000. I wonder if they've changed some of the pricing. I feel like they might have. Because I remember I could have done this for like 8,000. All right, see, look. All right, so now we're at 8,000, okay? So if I sell all of these, am I going to be like out of money? No, because I'm at 22,000. Okay, so if I put a village down and then... Monkey City, and then, yeah, look, I'm off by just a tad. And I can't put two banana farms down there. I definitely messed up. That's fine. But we do have a Monkeyopolis now, which is good. And I can put one one of my banana farmers here. All right, I we, we might need to get some, we might need to get a little something something going on here. Uh, we might be having a little bit of troubles here. I'll just put, I'll put like a one boomerang monkey down. Let's get faster throwing. I think that'll be good. Now we can start working on getting these banana farms. I love when Ninja, we get updates for this game, okay? Bloons in my life, okay? I play balloons literally every single day. So anytime Ninja Kiwi comes out with new updates that changes the towers around, that gives us more content, I'm always ecstatic. And I just want to say that I am so grateful to have Ninja Kiwi because Ninja Kiwi has been updating this game for free. For free for what? When did they launch it? Like 2018? Six years. Six years they've been updating this game for free for all of us. No questions asked, and that is beautiful. Ah, I'm gonna lose! Okay, um, uh, pan don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. I'm panicking! I'm panicking! Alright, give me sharpshooter. 
Um, I got three dart monkeys. All right, put down all my three dart monkeys. All right, perfect. I'm super strong now. I'm gonna lose. I'm so gonna lose. I was so not ready. Okay, okay. Let's let's all calm down here. Let's not point. Let's not point the finger at anybody. Okay. All right. All right. It's all. It's an equal shared responsibility that we messed up, and not on me. Okay, maybe it was on me a little bit for not paying attention. Okay, it's probably on me for not paying attention. And. Right here. There we go. Yeah, we'll put our super monkey down. This is gonna be a true sun god temple. What do we what do we need? Okay, first of all, let's go ahead and get laser blast, plasma blast. We're gonna need to get this upgrade anyways. I don't think I wanna do middle path or bottom path just yet. What is the better option for true sun god? It's definitely range, right? Like who cares about knockback and camo? Because we're gonna give it because it's gonna pop everything anyways, so it'll be just fine. I could just go straight up sun temple, sun avatar. I'm just gonna get sun avatar and be lazy. All right, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at what we're looking at here. All right, so we're gonna read exactly what Ninja Kiwi says about this update, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look into this. Okay. And if you want to read this for yourself, uh, Ninja Kiwi posts all of their updates on Reddit. So if you go to Reddit slash BTD6, um, it's always like the first thing, and so you can directly read it. Uh, and oh, I'm losing. Okay. All right, I'll give this guy a little camo detection. Boop. There we go. We haven't looked much at temples since the release of other paragons. As these have solidly carved out a place for themselves in the boss events, the original temple has fallen behind. We wanted to try to work on this again by improving upon the weaker temple sub-attacks. Sub-attacks basically means um, sacrifice things, like a, a turret, a sentry, like an engineer sentry is a sub-attack. It's like not the main projectile, but other smaller things. So like, for example, a monkey ace exploding pineapples is a sub-attack. And so we want to try, um, with this increased power, we're also reduced the basic attack pierce gained on the main temple attack. We will be reviewing temple balance further soon. So if any of your feedback on this rules, then we'll make that under consideration for our next look. So obviously that what they mean by this is, uh, they're actually making the main attack of the sun temple weaker. So it's the primary buff. So they removed some of the buff from the military primary, but like the blades and stuff that shoot out of it look to have gotten an insane buff, specifically primary and magic. So we wanna make sure that we're putting full full focus on magic and primary, which we were gonna do that anyways, I don't. But now this, now this is actually really interesting. So they changed the main attack. So maybe epic range really isn't all that insane now. Because if you get, no, uh, but ultra vision, Balloons push backward or slowed after each hit. Because maybe knockback could be really good because if it slows them now, oh man, that, see, now this has kind of changed up the game a little bit. Just a little bit, I would say. So we need to start getting ready to turn this into, I also realize like all of these are gonna have to go <laughs> because I can't, I can't sacrifice these. I don't wanna, you don't wanna sacrifice any support. So when you're going through the process of making a true sun god or vengeful sun god temple, the way it works from my understanding, which is probably wrong, is the first upgrade, you can only upgrade three categories to the sun temple. There's four base categories of your primary, military, magic, and support. So you can only give it three categories. If you're trying to get the strongest tower possible, you obviously don't want support because all support does is gives it additional buffs and makes money. And if you're trying to do a standalone tower, you obviously want to get the buffs from, how in the world did I put a wizard monkey down? From the primary military and magic. That's kind of what you really want to focus on. Before we get the sun temple, we need $50,000 in sacrifices from primary, military, and magic. So I think inferno ring seems like a pretty good that seems like a pretty good option. And that seems like that'll be our $50,000, right? 3,000, ooh, wait, 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 wait. That might not be enough. That like just barely might not be enough. It says in-game cost 49,000. How come when you go to like, is that wrong? That was definitely not 49,000. I don't know. All right, so there's primary. There's, there's definitely $50,000 there in primary. Military, they keep changing the price on me. Okay, Sarbama is definitely right. The 200, that's like 500, 1500, and that's like, see, that's 20,000 and then 30,000. So that's definitely 50,000. You just want to be careful because if it's under $50,000, you don't get the full buff. And if you don't get the full buff, well, then it's kind of, it's kind of worthless. And that's definitely in range two. And normally, Wizard Lord Phoenix is good because that's definitely over the 54,000. So now I need to save up $108,000. Okay, I need to get rid of you. I need to get rid of you, and I need to get rid of you. 
and that's not going to be in range or anything. So now we can go ahead and get the Sun Temple. And so we have primary, magic, and military for these three categories. So we can go ahead and grab the Sun Temple. Boom. And is this nice? Look, it's not in range of the Sun Temple. It will tell you. Oh, wait, never mind. It won't tell you if there's a Sun Temple buff on it. What? But that's okay. I think we'll get ready to sell everything anyways as we start to get closer and closer to this. So we're already doing pretty good, but now we need $50,000 of every category. Of every category, right? So first things first is we need to get our support so we can go ahead and get Homeland Defense. We can go ahead and put this bad boy down. Or let's see, 160, that's 500, that's like 1,000, that's 4,000, and then it's 4,600. Okay, 46,000. So that's definitely enough. It normally provides a discount. So since we don't have any support on it, it doesn't do that. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, military. Uh, the Sar Bomba worked very well for us. So we can go ahead and get Sar Bomba. And now for the last one, we can go ahead and get magic. And I think just Wizard Lord Phoenix works really well. And oh, there goes. Boom. All right, we beat round 80, but that's no problem. That's no problem. And Wizard Lord Phoenix. So now all we got to do is save up for the true sun god. Which we need $540,000, but we want to get Vengeful Sun God Temple. So in order to get Vengeful Sun God Temple, you need to have Anti-Balloon as well as Legend of the Night. Which is so crazy that they nerfed Legend of the Night price. They they took $50,000 off the price of the Legend of the Night. They just took $50,000 with no, no nerfs or anything to it, which I think is like unreal. So when you're making a Vengeful Tower... You have all of your stuff down. You need to put down your super monkeys outside of the range of this, right? So in order to do that, or you want it not to be sacrificed. Because if it's going to sacrifice, it won't count. So you need to have an anti-balloon gunner. And you also need to have Legend of the Night. Which we need a little bit more money in order to, to get that rolling. The Dark Champion. And then Legend of the Night, which is $179,000. <laughs> Man, I'm really torn on whether or not to get knocked back on this or not on the true sun. I almost never get the knockback thing. I think we'll still just get super range. I feel that super range is still the better option overall. Nothing has gotten into the range of these yet, so we have like these magic things, but the sub attacks, like the plane should I think do more damage. We now should have enough to be able to get Legend of the Night. Okay, so we've got Legend of the Night. So now all we need is $540,000. So I think if we get around to like 300,000 or something like that, I think we'll be good. I mean, we have a sun temple that is just destroying it. And then we're going to get the Vengeful Sun Temple. So it's been fun. I haven't actually gotten a Vengeful Sun Temple in quite some time now. And so being able to actually get this, I think this is pretty sweet. I'm happy about it. We have all of our categories. We've got everything ready. All we need to do is get the money to be able to upgrade this. And then I want to make sure we sell all of these things as well. Because if we don't, that would be kind of sad. Is there any other buffs that I want to put on it? Do we want to go crazy with like the Ultra Boost and stuff? Probably so, right? We want to literally put this thing to like... It's maximum potential. I think we want to get this thing to be as powerful as possible. So with that, we want to get an Ultra Boost, Perma Brew, and Village. So we definitely need to get a little bit more money. I'm going to put down Azili. Because Azili with her totem could be actually really good. All right, let's see how we do against this BAD. BAD. Oh, the BAD got destroyed. All right, we have a ton of money. How fast is Azili leveling up? Already level 7 and with Sacrificial Totem. Sweet. All right. I think it's time. I think we can go ahead and go ahead and get this beautiful tower. All right. I hope I did everything right because otherwise it's going to be a little bit awkward. All right. True Sun God Temple. Let's go. Three, two, one. And if we did everything correctly, it should sacrifice these and it should turn into the Vengeful Sun God Temple. There we go. We now have the Vengeful Sun God Temple. Okay. So these blades right here and these blades do way more damage now, like way more damage, 10 times more damage. I think these things, as well as the magic burst. So I think you want the super range here because the more range you have, actually, it is going to be better. We obviously, we want to put down a beautiful perma broom because we want this to have more range. Yeah, because you want these blades to be going out because those blades do tons of damage. And then the magic burst does more damage as well. Uh, I can't see camos. That's really awkward. There we go. Strongest tower in the game. Can't see camos. That is pretty hilarious. All right, Homeland Defense, that's going to be really nice. And, of course, we can go ahead and get ourselves an Ultra Boost. So they've changed the Ultra Boost as well, and it actually starts on cooldown, which is kind of lame. Which is actually, actually not... Actually, I really... Oh, but you can't tell it where you want it to link. Interesting. 
But now we can start uh, ultra boosting this bad boy. Now we're cooking. And look at how much money it gives you. It gives you $5,000 around. That is so good. I think we can just max out Azealia, right? I don't think there's any other upgrades or buffs or things that we need. It's got all of the buffs on it. Uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll max out Azealia, level 20. And of course, now what we can do is we can put down her totem. And that makes her totem go crazy. It only costs one life and boom. This tower is feeling pretty strong. Let's put down the Time Master, which allows us to skip some rounds. And let's see, like you go up to around 120, easy. 130, literally no problem. All right, this tower is amazing. This tower is amazing. Round 140, how does it fare? Not bad. Not great though. I mean, actually, it's pretty good. And I love, you just get $5,000 at the end of every round. So we're just making a crazy amount of money. That is what's nice about the Vengeful Sun God is it does make you crazy money. All right, let's go up to some like round 180, perhaps. I feel like 180 could be pretty darn good. And like, look at this, you can just, oh, whoa. Look at how fast these blades, and though these blades do 250 damage each. Instead of 25, they do 250. And then these magic bursts also do more damage, right? Yeah, the golden glaze do a ton of damage. The arcane blast does like four times damage, three times damage. Actually, it's just two times damage. I can't read. That is crazy. All right, now the question is, can it be 200 though? That's what I'm interested in. I don't know if it can be 200. Let's find out. We're gonna go to 199. So the BAD gets pretty far, but we've got... All right, that's 10 times Ultra Boost. Let's go. Round 200. And now Fortified BAD, Azili buff. It annihilated it. But can it do it again? Can it, can it do it again? Oh my gosh, it beat round 200. 35 million bucks. This tower is cracked. Because what's, what's amazing about this tower that's better than Paragons is you can buff it, right? So like you can get Azili's totem. You can go ahead, you can get Homeland Defense on it, you can get Permaburu, you can get, like, so we're at 50 million pops, like, no problem. This is at round 200. How far did the normal Ventral Tower actually was able to go? I'm not sure. Like, and then you can just, because with Azili's Totem, Azili's Totem is disgusting. And, oh, you see all these purple blobs everywhere? That's the magic as well that's doing crazy, crazy damage. 100 million pops. We're at round 200 and of course Azili is just going crazy Using Azili with this is really really solid actually This Azili makes a devastating combo against these Look at that Azili 5 million pops. I love Azili. Azili is so sweet. Yeah, we're just dealing with fortified BADs at 220 what have you done, Ninja Kiwi? You brought back our boy from the grave! All right, I'm gonna skip ahead. We'll probably lose here. But I wanna try 250. I just skipped like everything. Buff, all buffs. I just did like every buff. All right, that was a little aggressive. I'll admit, let's just try it again. Let's just try straight up 250. All right, use Azili's totem. Oh my gosh, we're lagging. Cause we were going against all the rounds at once. Can we? We're beating round 250. This is stronger than Paragons now. With full, like, full buffs and everything. 200, okay. That's, all right, that's about as far as we're gonna get. But round 250, holy cow, that was amazing. All right, that was sick. That was sick, that was just cool. I really enjoyed that. I hope you all did too. Thanks for watching. Make sure to get Fast Track if you do. Use Creator Code 2D, and we'll see you later. Peace.